Oh shit, we back, man, with the People's Champ. We got Ann Glizzy in the building, man. Well, well, hold on. Dave Ruffin is the People Champ now, cause he defeated you. I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give him this little bit of fame, man. David Ruffin is at David Ruffin on Instagram, man. Y'all go all follow him. That's the guy who beat me in the boxing match. Give him some credit, man. Let him. I truly got paid off it. I love it. So you know what I'm saying. Let's give him some credit. Like, go turn him up, y'all. Everybody, go follow him. We ain't even beefing no more, y'all. I squash it. I squash it. Don't say cheese for him. Everybody, I'm going to send him in the wave. Go ahead, Dave. Thank me later. What was that matchup? I mean, who who, who created that matchup? Because I would think it would be you versus uh, the rapper. Um, uh, Fat, Fat Leash. Uh, Fat Trail? Fat Trail. That's crazy. You don't know his name and he's been rapping 15 uh, years. <laughs> Nah, it ain't that, man. I just, I've been moving around a lot today. My mind's everywhere. Don't edit that part. I don't need it. I want to hear the stutters <laughs> and everything. <laughs> don't do that, man. But I would think that it would be you and Fat Trail, though, not not you and Davey Ruffin. He ain't he ain't in my weight class, but it's like, he ain't aggressive enough. He ain't really on that right now. He, I don't know what he on. It's more so, I got into it. I've been getting into it with Davey Ruffin, like, back and forth. Not even getting into it when I just... Instagram trolling. That's how I started. I started Big TV off of David Ruffin. I swear he was the first person I ever got into it with on the Instagram. So it built some friction. We got into it back and forth. But like, to me, I wouldn't have boxed me. Like, if you know what went on on the street side of things, I wouldn't have boxed me. But I guess he needed fame to keep his career going up. So I ain't even here to downplay David today. I told y'all, David beat me in the boxing match. So I'm going to give him his kudos. I want y'all to follow him. I want him. I really want him. To get a buzz from this. Like, I want him to win. I want him to enjoy it. You feel what I'm saying? I don't want to end his career. At first, I did, but I think about it. We can bake biscuits in the projects for nine months because of Davey. I got to treat him good. Like, you feel what I'm saying? I'm good. Did he physically beat you up or did you just you just got tired? Nah, I, bro, the fight all on YouTube. Bro, in the fight, like, I won the fight. I did all the punching. This was, all right, let me tell you the plan. My plan was to go there, take a knee, and just get the $20,000. But a guy who stepped in, all right, before the guy who stepped in, we just was going to sell tickets and keep the ticket money. I was going there taking in, me and my homeboys, who I was going to But a promoter stepped in and said he had $20,000 for me. So once he stepped in, I'm like, I can't dog him on the business. I got to really make it look good. You know what I'm saying? Go in there and do my thing. I didn't even train. I did no training. I trained on YouTube for my YouTube channel, but I, but I smoked the J before I walked in the ring. So when I got there... I did all the punches. It was like three round fight, a minute and 30 seconds. I did all the punching. You go look at the video. He didn't punch me that one time. I did all the punching and I quit. I just quit. It's like the ring. Did you see the boxing ring? We was boxing yeah. on crates. They made that ring out of, I don't know what that was. When I seen the ring, I said to myself, I was. I feel safe on the grass. Like they real life put us on that. I'm like, what this? But I, I, the whole city here, I cannot let them down. So I get in the ring. I'm like, all right. Now that I feel the vibe, I'm like, I'm just going to punch him too. I'm tired and I can't fight no more. But in a real boxing match, you get to sit down. Like, they let you sit in the stoop between rounds. They had no stoops. Like, it wasn't no stoop. So, so what I got to do? I got to lay down. My legs is giving out. Like, I got to lay down and lay down. But when I, And I start spitting up. But I start spitting up afterwards. Like, the boxing gloves was over. The fight was over and all that. But it was just for, like... I guess for me to be outside and give the people something, but I enjoyed it. I guess they thought my career was going to be over from it, but they went around talking about a knockout. You ain't seen it yet, did you? Have you seen physical mm. footage of it? I told you, like, it's made up. How many people showed up to that fight? I mean, was this like a barbecue or something? Nah, it was just an idea from Instagram, and we ain't we promoted it, but we ain't really promoted it. I'm going to say 5,000 people on Instagram Live and probably five to 600 people in person. Mm-hmm. And you said that you got paid two twenty thousand in two minutes. That was cap or that was real? The fight was a minute and thirty seconds. I quit the beginning of the second round. So it probably was less than two minutes. Twenty K. I had bro, I had ten thousand dollars in cash before I got there. I had the front end. That was the back end. I had the back end in my shorts. Before I walked to the ring, I had to pass it off like sneakily. And did Davey Ruffin, did he get paid too? Or did you get paid more because you were the attraction? I'm the A-side. It ain't nothing without me. So it's like, yeah, he got paid. I don't know the exact amount he got paid, but he didn't get paid when I got paid. But 
I seen him and the promoter arguing afterwards, after the fight. I seen them arguing. I, I was, the promoter was with me paying me my, uh, he probably owed me like $2,000, $3,000. But I'm like, he had gave me $7,000, so I probably had seventeen dollars after the fight and all that. He owed me like to make it twenty. But he came and brought it to me personally. I put him on the live. Like, he was on the live as he did it. And Davey was beefing about some money. The money that he owed me, I gave it back to him and told him, just give it to Davey. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, yeah, I bid off him and all that. Like, I can go up on him right now in this interview. I can go up on him, make him goofy and all that. But guess what? I'm going to be the bigger person. I want him to feel the enjoyment from a win. Like, bro, just leave me alone from now. No, we ain't beefing. Here go the wave you want it. There you go. And now you you should have some little buzz out there and some traction. I hope you run with it and do something with it instead of. But if you can hit me, Davey, I don't want you to get this buzz and get into it with random people that's just trying to feed off you. You got to run with it for yourself. Like, now you're on a level where you don't talk to these people. And do you? You don't even feed them the angle, bro. Go live your life. Yeah, because we posted on Instagram and Twitter, and it did well over a million views. And it was a lot of people laughing. It was a lot of people joking. But a lot of people talk shit because I do like boxing and shit too. A lot of people don't get in there. And then you got a lot of rappers who don't even want to risk taking the L, but be t quick to talk shit about you getting knocked out. Or you didn't even get knocked out, but you know, you just got gassed out. Where I come from, I don't know how to let me water it down. Where I come from for twenty thousand dollars, I don't think there's a limit to a safety of a family member in your family for twenty thousand dollars. So you telling me a boxing match, bro? I'm from the ghetto. For twenty thousand dollars, if they told me I had to tie David Ruffin up, I would have tied him up. Like you feel what I'm saying? So if I can go here and box him for twenty, like fight him and quit, all I got to do is show up and get the money. Let's do it. But I ain't even, like, on a on the street side of things, I ain't even in the streets no more, so it ain't really nothing gangster about it, so me not the ghost. Like, I ain't really into, like, trying to be a tough guy or prove a super-duper image or nothing, but I'm really him in real life, but I don't got to, I don't got to glorify that. So I give him the, the benefit of the doubt. Like, if you want to rumble, let's rumble. I ain't scared of no fight. I'll fight you as long as I can last. As long as I can last, I'm cool with it, because I ain't really tripping off him punching. He not... It was an even fight, first of all. He not no well-trained boxer, nothing. It's like it's even. We wear the same amount. It's nothing. Like, I didn't fear him in no way. I didn't fear of him. I don't even think he can knock me out. Like, did y'all see the fight? I don't think them punches, I don't even think my punches was knockoutable. Boxing and street fighting is two different things. But I know you got the power to set up me and Bam Man Kevin. <laughs> I've been seeing that, man. Uh... I think that would do. That would go crazy. I think that would go crazy. And I feel like you got the power and the promotion to put it together. I'm all in. I think he's. I think he's too big. How much do you weigh, bro? He bought the muscles, bro. Stop playing, man. Come on, man. Stop playing, man. He bought the muscles, man. Stop playing. Come on, man. That, that don't even matter, bro. I told you. He a Lamborghini with a Buick engine, bro. It's like he got the good looking outside, but he still got a wild transmission. It's like you get what I'm saying. Like, what could you do with it? Oh, man. When you do oh. exercise, Sean, you get big. Like, your insides change, your immune system. You working out everything. He got the muscles without that. His, he still, like, his soul is still the same. Like, his insides is still the same. Like, you feel what I'm saying? He got a Buick engine with a Lamborghini shell. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's been riding. He's been posting your videos, going, getting knocked out. Well, throwing up in the ring and... Um, you know, y'all had y'all back and forth on live and stuff like that. Um, but I I think you and Charleston White would be the better match because of the body type. That's the perfect. Oh my hey, look though, and he got a YouTube video saying, and Glizzy, your mother gonna watch it. I'm gonna kill you like this. He was doing like, oh man, I beat him up, put it together. What what a contract. Hey, I'm about to become like a celebrity boxer, man. I feel good, man. Let's put it together. I yeah. beat I beat shit down Charleston White Leg on my mother. Yeah, Charleston. Um, I mean Charleston is Charleston. He has a guy. It's a guy who wants to put up big money for him to uh, fight somebody like big, huge. Who's the Who's the perfect person? That, hey, listen to me. Only person to be mad at me is my grandfather. And I'm like, why you do that, old man, like that? But it's like, 
Hey, Charleston ain't no slouch. Bro, he my been, mother. He been working. I'm, I don't care how much he worked, bro. That's a 50-something. I'm going to beat that man. Man, stop playing. That man can't beat me with a one hour of a mile. He's 46 years old. Uh, that's He's not 50. Bro, 46? All right, listen to me. 46 is 50. 50 is half of 100. That's old as a hell. Like, you feel me? That's half of 100. That man half of 100 years old. You, bro, in 10 years, he could die from natural cause. Let's do it. Yeah, Charleston White, that would be that would be a uh, that would be a classic. Charleston White. I think that White, shit would sell out. That I'm would sell to, out. Yeah, it would. And I'm gonna beat him up in front of his wife. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> he always talking about because my wife know I beat you up in front of her. I mean, can you could you last longer than two rounds? Cause last you can't you couldn't go in there like you did with Davey Ruffin, like you're gonna do with Charleston. It was untrained. I told you I went to the I went and trained to the gym. I didn't even go to the gym. I used the gym in my house. I did that for YouTube content. I never really trained, bro. I just ran the treadmill. I didn't take it serious. A month of me straight in the gym taking it serious, and I know what to expect now. I might be a little bit dangerous. And I need a real ring. Cause I don't wanna make no excuses. Yes, I lost. I quit. I lost. I'm not saying that's the reason I lost or none of that. But the ring was so rinky-dink. As I was boxing, the ring came up with my shoe. So, like, I sprung my ankle a little bit. And I looked at the promoter. He looked at me like, hey, don't get out of there. I seen it. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, God, that was more towards AC. But I couldn't even say that. It's like, all right, I'm about to quit anyway. Let me get, like, three more punches. But, and then, all right, the, I'm looking at the crowd. So I'm looking at the ring. I'm like, man, this ring is so jinky. I know this is not a real fight. So now we in the middle of the ring. We fighting. So the ref breaking it up. He like, break. But I'm thinking like, if I don't break and I punch him in the, I punch him in the back of the head illegally. I did it on purpose. I'm like, if I punch him in the back of the head, what's going to happen? Like, am I going to lose a point? Am I going to lose a title belt? Like, what happens if I thought about it? Like, ain't nothing. Nobody set me down, told me no rules or nothing. I probably could have kicked it or anything. Nobody, I, nobody explained no rules to me. I didn't even have a mouthpiece. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So I hit him in the back of the head. Pow. He started looking around like, who going to help me? Did y'all see what Ed did? Like, ain't nobody going to help you. Ain't nobody help him. I just got me two more behind the ear jumps and I quit. Like, I'm done. I couldn't, yeah. I would have walked back out there, he'd have pushed me like this, I'd have fell over. I had no more wind in my body, like none. I stopped spinning up a week later. Did it, did it hurt your ego that night? You you seeing that all over social media, say cheese, all the blogs. Did, that, did it fuck with you a little bit? Like, man, like. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. Bruh, I just seen my, my, I got a bipolar schizophrenic mother. I just seen my mother in the middle of traffic, ass naked, running around on the internet. And you talking about a fight? I got 20 back. This shit don't get to me at all. Like, I, I never had a bad moment. I never feel down. I swear I never had a bad moment. I never feel down. Like, I know what I, I can see if he knocked me out or he did. Like, even if he would have knocked me, I wouldn't even, bro, I, it was $20,000 in a boxing match. I promise you, there's no boxing match. I'm ducking for $20,000. That ain't nothing, bro. I'm not about to die in there. I'm going to get to spend the money when I'm finished. Let's go. I fought yeah. till I couldn't fight no more. I ain't no fighter, though, bro. Like, I'm like, the last guys that played, man, you know, man, the last guys that played with some of something in my family, you know what I'm saying? Now, now back to Bandman. Uh, Bandman's my guy. Um, you know, every I, I post him a lot. People call him BBL Kevo and BBL Man and shit like that. But in today's society, that's really becoming a normal thing. No, like, it's, it's not. a lot of rapper. It's a lot of rappers. I can't say no names, but it's a lot of rappers that go to that same doctor. You acting like you been there, Sean? What you seen the login? Like what you saying the list? The list of people that was on it? No, 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 no. I'm just saying that like these are guys that I, I know for a fact that uh that they've gotten that work done. And then you even see now, like um on the female side, women die every day from that shit. You you just see the DC Young Fly's wife. She just died from that shit. Like what's what's your whole whole take on surgery as a whole though? It's dangerous, but everything come with like everything come with danger in it, bro. Even the food, like I can't knock nobody. I got tattoos on my body, so I I can't be biased to nobody if they want to go do something to themselves how they feel. That's their image and how they want to look. If they believe in what they believe in, that's up to them. They can do whatever they want to do. A female, 
Not on Bam Man Kevo's behalf. The male body produces testosterone and stuff that you're supposed to go to the gym and work out and get the. You ain't supposed to be buying no muscles. You you don't buy muscles. It's wrong, bro. You got liposuction and you got the same operation as my girlfriend. Why is you it like like the doctor mocked him up like? Do you know when Bad Man Kevo came from getting that surgery? He was like the people you ever seen the girls with the butt in the air and the joint like that. He was just like that. You think, you think big folk ain't pick him up from the hospital with the with the uh, faha on his butt in the air? Come on, man. You know it, man. That's why, that's why big folk dissing me, saying all this Aunt Lizzie. I never said nothing about him. I don't even know him. He's saying that because he feel guilty that he picked him up from the hospital and had to change his bandages. I'm just here, like, it gotta be. Or he was on the list to get one next and he feeling embarrassed like I messed up his come up. But, Sean, all jokes aside, I just seen you in the gym kickboxing. You ain't never thought about going to get by the muscles. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> as long as you know. Like, <laughs> like, you get money. All right, they give you some money. You come, all right, you come from where you come from. They give you some money. You spend it on muscles? Oh, man. Bruh, if one of my friends get a fat train, if one of my friends get the bad man, we ain't even friends no more. I'm cutting them off. Like, what are you on? Like, first of all, you taking a shortcut on life. God don't even like that. Bruh, go work for the muscles. They free. <laughs> go put the work in. Like, that's some late, bruh, that's lazy. Yeah, but, big folks wasn't feeling that. Uh, he, he got to calling you dusty and... DC this and he know niggas in DC that I'm like, yeah, he wasn't big folks wasn't smelling that man. I just want to know this. A guy from Chicago, a well known figure that I don't know, I just see him in Chicago, Kevo. He gets a, a a man transfer that turns him to Arnold Schwarzenegger. Nigga. I say something about it because it's wrong as a man. And he's still on the internet thinking this shit cool because he's walking around buffing shit, but his inside's bad. His man defended him. How does I get into it with the GDs? And he's a gang member. His name Big Folk. Like, I got into it with Chicago. How I get into it with the GDs, the BDs, the CDs, and the DVDs? I got into it with everybody. I'm like, what the hell's going on? All... Oh, First of all, I didn't even know active gang members can speak on or try to start a riot or a city war behind a plastic surgery. Like, what's going on in Chicago? Only surgery I should have wanted to fight about was D-Rose. We is not trying to fight about bad man cabos. I'm just here to tell you. I'm not going for it. So this for all the GDs, BDs, CDs, DVDs. They trying to start a war. So can you get your fat man, big folk, or whatever he is, Cause he told me I'm barred from Chicago. So that means if I'm barred from Chicago, that means I gotta go on everybody from Chicago. I can't be friends with two Chicago guys and beef and banned from Chicago. My back door gonna be open. Hmm. I'm from the streets. I'm not gonna allow that. So Chicago is like, hey, hey, nigga, I don't want no trouble. I didn't start this. This all started with the BBL. So if gangsters back in Batman Cabo in a surgery, that's why I got out the streets. I don't trust y'all. I don't know what's going on. Whack 100 is on uh What's that, Clubhouse? I, he, he a gang member. He naked talking to Memo 600 on the phone trying to sign him to a 360. These old guys are tripping. And then I don't know if big folk fat or skinny because like on your interview, he looked at fat, but on live, he was skinny. It's like the nigga chameleon. I don't even know if he big folk or just folk. So I'm like, I got a real loud look at the pictures. Like I'm trying to profile him. I'm trying to figure out who he is. But it's like, I don't know, bro. It's like, dang, I like I like OTF and Lil Durk, bro. It's like, what, what I got to do? You know what I'm saying? But if it came down to it, all jokes aside, I don't really care. Oh, and don't you know, oh, he messed me on Chicago topic. Don't you know, uh, what's the guy that's your man? Uh, it hit, it do hit different. I don't know his name. Oh, J-Man. His stories, when they when they start talking in Chicago, killer stories, they be telling me like, man, you better not play with Chicago. I be like, I be thinking about j Main little stories. All his stories, he under something high and like he ain't never the aggressor. I swear to God, all his stories come with him. 
Folks, I was looking at such and such dude. I was over here. I'm like, bro, if y'all got uh, J Mains in Chicago, I ain't really worried. It do hit different. It do hit different <laughs> when you see a nigga like him from Chicago. You understand that they all ain't savages. I'm just saying. <laughs> it do. Do your homework. Do your homework. If you hide and every time something happen, you know you ain't really about that. Man, do your homework. It do hit different. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you funny shit. Nah, I'm just here to tell them. Like, I'm telling you, like, y'all keep talking all this nonsense. Yeah, I, but I see the documentaries. Everybody do the YouTube jumps make Chicago look super turn. Like, I got some little ones I like from the documentaries. But what I'm here to tell y'all, them superheroes y'all look up to, I got somebody out my house that equals them, like, a hundred of them, they really this small. So, like, the gangsters talk don't really mean don't really mean nothing. Do your homework on Bob or son. You feel me? Like, I got to, you know what I'm saying? Speaking of that, your brother, um, you spoke on your brother last interview. Um, and, uh, and, and you know, according to you, he was one of them guys that you're speaking about that spent through a lot, beat murders, did all type of stuff. But there were people in the comments talking about his brother has paperwork and ask him about that the next interview. He's hot. I just I gotta ask you. I can't be biased. Can you confirm Say like everything. the stuff that they're talking about? If if you ever hear my brother hot, that's because somebody family member is cold. If you can read in between the lines, you only gonna hear that from somebody who family member cold. It's like it's no retaliation from. I right, how can I explain it? It's nothing you can say or do but try to slander somebody's name. But if you, the person that called my brother hot, he died the day before he supposed to testify on my brother. I'm going to give you a scenario. It's this guy's name, Sean Shuler. You can look it up. It's public records. My brother got locked up for six attempted murders. This was before he got caught. It was two other murders after that. My brother was locked up like seven and a half years on all this put together. Like six, he, six attempted murders. He beat them. He came home, they put, a, they put a murder charge on him of a little girl, he beat it. They put another murder charge on him and the kidnapping of two other people. But it's like in a seven year span, but in, the, in that seven years, the guy who said, long story short, it was a few between, I can speak on this, it's public records, y'all, it's all out, you can search this. My brother name is Saeed Evans, S-A-E-V-E-E-V-A-N-S. Put it in Google, you, uh, YouTube, whatever you type it in, it's all gonna pop up. It's all public records, ain't none of his shit sealed or nothing. The guy who said my brother told is allegedly one of the guys who shot my brother. My brother got shot 32 times outside mm. my mother's house on Christmas. The guys ran down the train station and they showed they like they took the mask off and ran down the train station. So the guys was on the news. They all flashed across the news, the guys who did it, because they ran down the train station. So now they on the news, but now we didn't know who it was until we seen the news. Once we seen the news, we seen who the who the suspects was. One of the suspects was my brother, baby my brother, baby, my brother, my brother, baby mother, baby father. She got another baby father. One of the suspects was him. His daughter was in our house when she, his daughter lived with us. So why they shot my brother? They thought he was going to die. If he'd have died and they would have never ran down the train station, it would have never knew nothing. But my brother didn't end up dying and they ended up crashing their getaway car and they had to use the train to get back. So they ran down the train stations where all their ski masks up. Now they flashing across the news. Mm. But why he did that, my, his daughter was upstairs. Like his daughter lived with us. So that's what started the feud. Now on this back and forth, they getting into it. So my brother didn't die. My brother is like, I don't want to over say, my brother is him, bruh. Like, the city he, knows. He, he, the real, uh, he the real boogeyman type shit. Yeah, they call him the king of the south. Like, the king of the south. To, to be the king of southeast and really live with that title, you got to be somebody. But I don't want to say too much. He really him in real life. So, he didn't die. So now he didn't die. So, the, like, the, first of all, if you hit a made man, and you miss, you know what happened after that. Like the streets gonna, it don't matter where it come from, the streets gonna get you for that. Long story short, he didn't die. So now it's like he didn't die. He got all this power. Now you know what it is. What can you do to defend yourself? You gotta say he hot to deep. You gotta say something about him. The only thing you can say is he hot. So he put out some he, he hot shit, but that, that shit came afterwards. They got an ongoing feud now, boom. So after the ongoing feud, my brother ended up getting locked up 
for six attempted murders out of that on his birthday. It was his birthday party. It's all public records. This is rolling in the Washington Post. Everything I'm saying is public knowledge. This ain't no sneaky behind the scenes. It's a closed case. Like, he already got found, what's it called? He got found not guilty, so you can't retry him. So, he had, what I was saying. So, my brother had went to jail for six attempted murders. Yeah. At his birthday party, on the guy birthday party, the other baby father who shot my brother. So he had a birthday party some months later. The party got shot up. Six people got shot, and he was in the shed. This is the, we only know he was in the shed because the police report says Sean, his name Sean Shuler. Sean Shuler spent his spent his birthday in the shed while six other people at his birthday party got shot such and such. Not knowing my brother wasn't dead, didn't do it or nothing. But my brother's so big of a person, he got shot 32 times. The the whole jurisdiction, the whole the world know what the fuck is about to go down. Like the streets ain't stupid, nobody's stupid. The world know. What... So my brother, they end up grabbing my brother for that. My brother ended up getting locked up for that. He had to do nine months on that. He did nine months on that charge. And if they don't indict you in nine months, they let you go. They didn't have enough evidence to indict him. They just had a name because they know who he into it with. So all that's going on. My brother about to come home from jail now to nine months up. My brother come home from jail. The, the, the other guy, the other baby father, he's still home. But at this time he home, he got a friend. That friend catches a charge. And as that friend caught a charge, that friend is all public records. That friend went in there and told him such and such committed this shoot and woo, woo, woo. And Get he brother. went in there, yeah. He went his the, the other baby father friend, yeah, went yeah. in there and said he got caught on a whole nother charge, had nothing to do with nothing, and said, Man, I got some information, such and such did something. So they grabbed him and he copped to it. Like he took a like they they end up grabbing him for now shooting. They grabbed they grabbed two. They grabbed two. They grabbed the other baby father. Oh, okay. The guy who the guy who allegedly shot my brother. It was four of them. They grab him. They grab him and lock him up because. One of his friends got caught, and when his friend got caught, he made a plea deal to to get to pit him on his murder. So they must have went at him with the evidence, and they locked him up. But this is the only thing. He only did two years. He did like two years off of it. He did like two years. It's four guys that shot my brother. Only one locked up. If my brother tell all four got to go to jail, you can't tell on one person, bro. Mm -hmm. So as he locked up, my brother home now, and he locked up. So now he's telling people, my brother hot, my brother's the reason he locked, I mean, he the reason my brother locked up. But mm. but he took a cop. So you can't really see into it, what's really going into it, but my brother never told on him. Long story short, he did his two years and he came home. As he came home, my brother was in a parking lot in the complex and a car pulled up and shot at him. And my Your bro brother? Yeah, my brother. So, so I told now my brother was locked up. Then he got locked up. Like my brother came home, he got locked up. So they not home at the same time. So now they both home at the same time. My brother gets shot at and my brother returned fire. My brother get caught on a camera, on a, on a complex camera. And they charged my brother. At first the charge was like unnecessary use of a firearm, illegal use of a firearm. They, they upped that to second degree murder. I thought after they had him in jail, they upped it to second degree murder. Then they switched it from second degree murder to first degree premeditated murder. They kept switching. They switched the charges three times. So he went to jail because right, a car pulled up and let some shots off. I told you the same way that when his birthday got shot up, my brother went to jail for it off the break. Nobody like you get what I'm saying? Because the police already know what's going on. They already in tune. So it's the biggest beef in the city. So. When he came home from jail, my brother had ended up getting shot at. A car pulled up, long story short, my brother turned five. A little girl had died that was beside my brother. A 16-year-old little girl had died. That's like my car? sister. Yeah. She, oh, okay. Her name Bree. She from, she from the complex. She was beside my brother as the car pulled up shooting. So she ended up passing away. A bullet ended up hitting her. But ballistics, at first, and now everybody's saying my brother killed the little girl. Now he locked up. They saying he killed the little girl, but that ain't really what happened. But you can't talk. You got to let it play out in court. They got ballistics. And but long story short, that in the story, my brother bullets from his gun did not match the bullets that was found in the victim. So it was not murder. He just got the charge for the gun. The five years he did the whole five years 
five years for the gun waiting on trial anyway. So I told you, the police know they got this ongoing beef. So the guy had came home. When he came home from jail, he was in a halfway house when he came home from jail. He wasn't all the way home. My brother had got shot at. So when my brother had got locked up and they said my brother was locked up for murder, my brother going to trial for murder now. The police went and got the other guy to become a witness. The guy that's home or uh, the guy that came home because they know my brother got the ongoing feud. So they went and got him to be a witness to say he was not in that car that pulled up and shot at him. You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm mm -hmm. going? Yeah. So they made him a witness. Now he a government witness. He got to come testify in my brother case to let them know he was not in that car and shot at my brother in no way. So as my brother locked up for the my brother locked up for the murder, and they got him as a witness now that's coming to say he did he was not in the car that shot at my brother, or something he ain't had nothing, but he's with the government. He's working with the government to get a conviction on my brother. My brother goes to deliberations, just say Friday, but they got to come back on Monday to read them. He's the government key witness. He's supposed to come in here on Monday morning and testify. Once he put the testify, we don't know which way this case is going to go, but they, you know what I'm saying? He died Sunday. Wow. <laughs> He died Sunday, so when they came back to court and they asked with a wit, when they asked with a wit, how, how they, did he die? How did he die? He died in a car with three other friends. Some, some, I don't know. Some allegedly, some guy walked up on a car and killed all three of him and his friends at one time. They died in a trip. Yo, murder. that's that's some movie. That this is a. I don't look. I'm not assuming anything, but that's a crazy coincidence. I don't know. I don't, we don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I just know that. I just yeah, it's crazy coincidence. That, I don't know, bro. I don't even know what happened. We didn't know what happened. How do you? How does your brother react to that? Like when we, he hears no that, no one knew. We waiting on him to walk in there. They called a recess timeout. The judge came back and said the witness passed away. So now in the courtroom and they looking like. So now they go to deliberations with no witness, not guilty. Shit. But that ain't it though, Sean. You'll think it's over. He home a free man, right? As he walking out the courtroom, the FBI, some white marshals, they come back and get him. They charge him with three, they charge him with a double murder and a kidnapping from 2009. Something that had nothing to do with nothing. This is just a whole nother rodeo to hold him. They not about to let him go out to beating six attempted murders in the body, so they put two more on him. He's back in jail right now? No, he home, Sean. He beat. He, oh, okay. He, he then they put two more murders as he walking out the court building, ready to go. Ha ha ha! Two two white people grab him, takes him back to jail, and rebook him from some murders from two thousand nine. A person he don't even know. Something the FBI just put on him. Cause they, so eight. So, so wait, eight murders total now. I'm gonna say six, six attempted murders, and three murders. So nine. So nine. And before that. He had previous murder convictions that he beat too. Probably like ju like some ju a juvenile one and a another double. But he beat. Wait, them. I, I I know I keep cutting you off. So he he was shot thirty two times. I'm not trying to be funny. Is he functional now? Can he walk? Can he talk? Can he can he move around? Can he take care of himself? Ain't nothing wrong with him, Sean. Nothing. Uh, this the kicker. I forgot to tell you the superhero part. He walked out the hospital in four days. He discharged himself. He got shot in the head. He got shot in the cheek. He got shot in the nose. He got shot in the heart. He got shot in the chest. He got shot everywhere you can get shot in your body. He walked out the hospital in four days. He all he had was a broken arm and a sling. Like his arm was broke. But back now today, he fully functional. Nothing's wrong with him. Nothing. You wouldn't even know he got shot. Damn. Some superhero shit, bro. Damn. All right. So now they rebook him on the new bodies from two thousand nine. He in Superior Court. They got him in Superior Court for like nine months because they can't indict him. So now he about to beat it in Superior Court. They about to let him go. As they let him go in Superior Court and he looking like he ain't beat it, they upped the charges and sent it to District Court. <laughs> now he got to go. He went, from, he went from the regular court to District Court. Now if he lose in District, he get life. He beat it in that court and he beat it in District Court. 
Straight out, he back here. It took him seven and a half years to beat it all, but he home with his family. Now he cool. I just talked to him five minutes ago. What is he doing now with his life? Is he working a job? Is he still in the streets? Is he a family man? Is he... Because this right with that story, that story should be on Netflix. That should be... He should be doing some type of... It's a lot he could do with that story. It's a lot of things your brother could be doing. Like, what is he doing now? Right now, he only been home just say four months. He just getting the feel of life, like full of life again. Like he ain't been home in so long. He just gotta get the feel. He enjoying his kids. He enjoying his life. But for as far as like the street time and the gangster time, he older now. He ain't, he ain't on that. And another thing, Sean, he might sound like a menace, but he got found not guilty, man. Innocent man. It just looked like that. It just I don't know why it looked like that. It just looked like that innocent man. His name just being a lot of things, but. He don't know this seven, eight years ago. They want to know he he hip to Instagram and the he think this telling like right now it's just public records. I told you everything that was public records. I told you nothing that wasn't public. It's all public. But it's like my brother never told on nobody. My brother the only one go to jail though. Like think about it, he the only one go to jail. Don't nobody else be in jail. He go to jail. Like why is he the only one locked up? No, he don't. Nobody else go to jail, but. And, and to make it even worse, to get the hot bone off his name, the guy who called him hot when he passed away in the newspaper, they pitted biggest day. Government witness died. Mm. They, they spelled it out like that. Government witness passed away. But I'm just saying, like, if a guy was hot, they'd run him through the, they'd run him through the mud for that. Like, the police ain't helping. Like, you feel what I'm saying? They, they wouldn't be this hard at trying to get you off the streets if he was hot. But it was just somebody that put a bone out on him. But I don't know, bro. He that's my older brother, and he he just feeling life right now. He gonna get to it and all that. I got a platform for him to if he wanna speak to somebody. But he more so. I told him mentor some kids. Like the kids, like your story. It ain't like no fake story. You don't gotta tell. In my city, you don't have to tell nobody who he is or nothing. You know who this is. You might have heard his name. You don't know how he looked. You know his story. You know him. Like you just know what's up with him. The whole city knows this. So it's like, he maybe mentor some kids. I told him he might as well want to mentor some kids, tell some kids, show them what not to do or what situations not to be in so they don't got to go that road you went through. They're going to respect you off the things you went through. But he's a good person, though, bro. One thing I tell you about all them people that they be saying be like them type of guys, they, they be a little off and like he still like a, he still have a heart. He's still a God given. Like you wouldn't know, you know, if from his appearance and seeing him, you would know none of this. Like you would know none of this. You got to literally read this to understand. You know what I'm saying? You would never know. And and y'all y'all got the same mother, right? Yeah, yeah. We got the same mother. Because your, your family's kind of dysfunctional, you told me before. Yeah, but it's like- Like y'all never just, like Thanksgiving dinners, y'all never just sat down at the table and just talk to each other and the traditional family type shit. You never really experienced that. Now we probably do, cause my brother. With this Thanksgiving we did. This Thanksgiving my to I got two. I got a little brother too. My little brother was locked up. What he had? My little brother first charge was five attempted murders. Like, damn. <laughs> Your little brother fought beat five. My beat wait. My little yeah, I got a little brother. His name kid. His name Esco. He beat five. His first charge was five attempted murders. He beat them by nine months. They don't indict you. But his first charge was attempted murders. He had five of them on one charge. That's some DC shit where they give you nine months. Well, they have nine months to indict you. They got nine months to indict you. If they don't indict you in nine months, you walk. Damn. So now you understand why I talk all this talk, this crazy talk on this internet, and I I move how I move, and nobody really, you know what I'm saying? That's why I be talking the way I talk, bro. It's like if you bout it, bout it, we can get bout it, bout it. But if you ain't, it is what it is. Is your brother really uh, protective over you? Yeah, as far as me, cause, like, he ain't never seen, he never seen the, this version of me. He know me as the little brother. He, now in this version of me, of course, like, I'm the bread and butter. And I'm like his, like, I'm the brother that he took care of. Like, when it was his turn, he took care of me. Like, when he came home, he ain't home. Like, he ain't come home and need nobody for nothing or nothing. He ain't missing those, he ain't missing those steps. I got this shit on, you know he got a couple dollars. But... Mm. He used to do for me, bro. I remember days I might lose my money in a crap game. I can't even go back to school. My brother, my brother was my father. My father left. I ain't had no father. So my my big brother, like my father. That's who I looked up to. That's what I wanted to be when I was in the streets. But I got out the streets. I seen I seen both sides of it.
Does it get to you when people they call your brother a rat? Nah, it really it don't get to me. It it's like I can't really explain it. It's like you gotta prove somebody a rat though, right? You can't just call nobody a rat and be like you hot. Like go prove a person hot. And the person who said it, I told you in the beginning of the interview, they only call my brother hot because they know somebody that's cold. So let me circle on this. Money Mar arrested for trafficking 5K fentanyl pills from LA to Maryland. Um, yo, fentanyl, that's that you out of there. Fentanyl is that's like being caught. That's worse than being caught with a switch. <laughs> fentanyl is like you done. He got caught with 12,000 pills before that. You so he got caught. With, no, he got caught with 12,000. He got caught with pills. He bonded out and went back to D.C. and allegedly caught another charge doing it over. Allegedly. Man. And this was somebody you kind of always picked on. like I don't really pick on him. It'd be more so they put they put out some gay allegations on him and I told him he got to clear his name and he went off on me. But I was like, bro, you can't go off on me. I'm not that type of guy. You ain't even like that type to go off on me. So I changed his name to Honey Ma. Now the whole city just call him Honey Ma because he Little, yeah, look, got a little sweet side to him. But this is another thing. We screaming free cruddy murder. My other partner, cruddy that be with him, that's the only thing that keep it mutual between me putting fists on him. I got a partner named cruddy, and cruddy don't, you know what I'm saying? Cruddy take up for him, so I leave him alone. But my partner and 12 other guys, I don't know the other guys, they just got indicted on a, a fentanyl distribution, a the fentanyl traffic and junk, the same charge Ma got. His man that he be with. Got a month later, a whole different indictment. <laughs> Where do you think it came from? Hmm. Hmm. Is there paperwork though? It won't. You be. said you. You said you said you said you can't call nobody a rat if you can't prove it. You can't. You right. If that's what you want to say, but just think of it like this: If me and you hang out all day every day, you go to jail on an indictment for fitting all. They ain't catch me. Then they come get me. Right after you? Why just come get me right after you? Well, they could have came and got me before you. They could have came and got me last year. Why come get me two months after you? Like, I just want to know. Why is, it, why is it so close? I told you I've been in the streets my whole life, man. Read it between the lines. Cue the fool. Fresh out. Came out doing this thing. You called him hot. He is. I'm gonna explain this situation to you. Before I tell y'all this, I'm not saying Q the Fool's a bad rapper. Q the Fool can rap. I told him that. It's not your raps, bro. You got the raps, you got the appeal. It's not none of that. It have nothing to do with the raps. It got something to do with dirt on your name. You're a public figure from here. So before we promote you here, just clear your name. That's all I was saying. But he took it wrong. So now I gotta explain to him this. Q the Fool had an attempted murder charge. He beat it. Q the fool got caught with a gun. He's a registered felon. After that, he got caught again. Like, he's already a registered felon of a gun. Q the fool got caught with 300 and some grams of cocaine, a stolen track hawk, a 380, a 40 caliber with the drum in it. What else? A ARP with the drum in it, a Draco, a Glock 23, and a 40 caliber. He had that many guns. He has 200 and some Oxycontin pills. Like, I don't need, man, all I'm telling you is, bro, the mandatory for that is five years, nothing less. Like, guarantee, I don't care if you got a good lawyer, bad lawyer, whatever. Q the fool got the self-surrender. Like, on June, I'm just making up a date. On June 10th, he got found guilty. They gave him his time. On February 10th, they let him come back after he do a say cheese interview, get his life together, stack his money, then he can walk himself in jail. That's a plea deal. That's a hell of an agreement. I don't know what you agreed to to get that. You can walk yourself in jail after you get the time. Let's get into this one. Q the Fool got a best friend. His name is OG Dollars. This is his CEO. This is his right-hand man who he be with every day. I just asked Q what's up with him. Q said he don't have no friends. He making them disappear. Q the Fool, before he got money, his deal, they shared rich shooter chains. He put the money behind Q. He bought him the rich shooter chain. He bought him his first watch. Him and OG Dollars are best friends. OG Dollars is saying Q the Fool hot. Q the Fool is home. OG Dollars got 11 years. This is why they saying Q the Fool hot right here. 
Q got all them charges. Once you catch them charges, you know the police sit you down and say, man, we know you're a rapper. Where did you get this from? If you can lead us to that, we'll work something out with you. We can't promise you nothing, but we'll work something out with you. I told you my brother been locked up for murder and all this and all that. You don't think the FBI coming to get me for all these? Like, when my brother's in custody, I get grabbed every time in the rooms, and they be trying to get me to tell and send my brother to jail forever for no reason. So I know if they got you red-handed with all this, they ask you some questions like, what did you get these spitting all these guns in this front? We can make, we can try that. We know you're a rapper. We get you back to your career. That's what I'm saying. This is how it went. Q the fool got caught with all them drugs in his house. The police asked him, where did he get it from? He pointed where he got it from. They went to his man house. His man got nothing to do with this. Nothing at all. Like he's not caught in this or nothing. This just Q got caught in his house with everything. His man ain't in the case or nothing. The police hit his man spot right after and find his man with everything in there. He had more than Q. Now he looking did like- his, Did his man say that? His man said said this? His man will do an interview from a jail phone with you right now and tell you this personally if he got to. This is his man word. I talked to his man, OG Dollars. Like, he's sending the word out here. This is what's going on. This is what his man is saying. He's saying, my spot got boom right out the queues and I got 11 years. How did they know my spots? I wasn't under investigation. I wasn't under nothing. Like, nobody was looking at me or nothing. His paperwork don't got no, none of that in it. Yeah, I'm not trying to defend Q the Fool, but nowadays people, when you texting your homies and DMing your homies on IG, they could put them to them two together. Yeah, but they'll be on the same case. Mm. Q the Fool don't got no co-defendants. And that's why it look like he don't got no co-defendants because, all right, say, just use me as an example. Say the police run in my spot and they catch me with something, they ask me who I got it from. I say I got it from Say Cheese. Now they go boom your spot and catch you red-handed with everything. And you plead guilty to it. Like, you plead. Like, they caught you red-handed. So you don't take it to trial. You plead guilty. There's no paperwork, Sean. You got caught guilty. They don't need no snitches, Sean. You got caught. You plead guilty. You said you're guilty. They don't need no witnesses. They don't need nobody to tell on you. They don't need nothing. How is my spot getting boom right out the yours? I'm not under investigation for anything. So you think Q the Fool, he worked out a deal to get less of time? I promise you, he's going to tell where he got these guns from. And How gonna... wouldn't it be... How wouldn't it be any paperwork? Because we see all these interrogation videos and all these statement videos, all these statement papers and things like that. It's, it should be something. The reason we can't see that is because Q is hiding that. Q is only letting us see his charges. Google his case. It's sealed. <laughs> he got a sealed case. You can't search it. When you go to his, all you can see is his discovery, his charges, or what he got. How do you, with. how do you seal a, how do you seal a case? Because if you that's the case, wouldn't somebody, it, you tell. But every, so every rat would have their case sealed, right? No, that ain't how it work. I'm not a jail guy. That don't, he got the seal records. I don't know why they seal them or why they don't seal them. Just go search his case yourself and see where it's at. Like, see, can you go in there and find his discovery? Man, I like you the fool, man. He, he was this, his, his, from his music, I don't really know him personally. But he just seems like one of them authentic guys, man. Let me tell you why I know Q the Fool High. Let me tell you why I'm saying this person. I'm not even hating. Let me tell you why. Why? Q the Fool got locked up by every gun, like all the gun task force agencies. They locked him up with endless guns. He had a self-surrender. He turned himself in. They told him, come back in a month to do his jail time. He's under investigation. Like he got caught with these guns. They watching his every move about guns. The day before he turned himself in, when he turned himself in, he did a Say Cheese interview and it was out while he was in jail. That man looked you on camera and told you, Aunt Glizzy said we had the same kind of guns and he knew what type of situation he was in. So you're not telling me that was one of them jumps. Yeah, I got caught with guns, but go investigate Aunt too. We got the same kind of guns. I do not got them guns in my house right now. I do not got no 40 calibers in here, no none of that. He looked at you and, first of all, what street guy is going to look at you and say, yeah, because me and Ant had the same kind of guns. Like, what are you talking about? I don't carry no guns. Hmm. What you got to say about that? I, I, I don't have nothing to say, man. I don't, like I, like you said, I'm not a jail guy. I don't really know the, the ins and outs to all this, but. And look, at, hold on. We're going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Say if he ain't hot. You heard what I said he got caught with. How much time do you think you're supposed to get for that? Over more than a year. I thank you very much. We ain't got nothing else to say. Go ahead. So they really they really cut your time down for cooperating? 
if you listen to me, if I get caught with a quarter key of cocaine, and I know the guy who got 30 keys of cocaine, once I tell them and they go get them 30 keys of cocaine, my charges, this 10 years I was facing just turned into nine months. I just got them 30 keys. They got to work something out with me. I got them a bigger arrest. That's how this shit works, y'all. You mm. think you get found with drugs and they don't ask you where you got them from? Or we'll, do you we'll, want to we'll, tell me where you got them from? We'll, we'll be interviewing him tonight so we'll, we can get his side of the story. Yeah, and this is another thing. Just all he got to do is this. this. I'm not, not a jail guy, but this is what the jail guy say. If somebody's calling you hot, you just show your PSI. Why is he hiding his PSI? Mm. It's kind of odd, too. I mean, I mean, damn, all your friends stop fucking with you? He don't have no friends, not one. This is how I know he hot. He got the hot symptoms. Like, don't you know when you hot and you just see it? Like, it matched. Like, everything. He was a thousand deep. Now he buys so the guy's in a mansion. He just came home from jail. He should be loving life, like feeling good, celebrating. He down there sweaty, talking to me on live, smoking black and mild, stressing. He don't know what to do. He in the basement sweaty, smoking black and mild in a mansion. Like you supposed to be happy, like he acting hot, and he acting hot. Mm. I don't have no problems with cute food and his rapping. Now he's a good rapper. Like, I promise you. I just want him to clear his name so the DMV can push him farther. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Like, we don't want to push him farther and he come out to be gunner. We don't want that. That's going to dog us. Oh, matter of fact, matter of fact, I got a platform. I know how we do it. 1090 J, can you please do cue the food? Please. I'm begging you. 1090 J, can you please do cue the food? That's all I need you to do. There you go right there. There you go right there. And do hit different. <laughs> you did say two years ago I did a song with Cute Fool and he took me off the song. He's on my karma list. This was two years ago when you did we you did my first interview. Well, me and you you did uh I did my first interview with you, I'm sorry. Yeah, cause it ain't about him taking me off the song. He took me off the song and went and hung with Shy Glizzy, hugged Shy Glizzy in the video and say, this is my op brother. Anybody you beefing with, I'm beefing with. Directly slapped me. He said that three days after hanging with me in the studio. Like, who is you talking to? <laughs> like, who else could you be talking to? But look, though, that ain't even the kicker. That ain't even the kicker. I told you I've been calling him hot over the internet. He just wrote Shy today and said, so what he said on his Insta story? He said, yeah, Shy Glizzy gave a blueprint to DMV rap. So I'm just trying to get Shy to be on this team. He need a buddy right now. He don't got nobody to hang with. He lost. <laughs> Shot just dissed them. He don't need no shot dissed them. They had got into it. Shot dissed them like I'm the first one I ever went to shine and got some, 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 some. Like he dissed them about a chain. Damn. The YNW Melly case um, is going live right now. It's all over the internet. Um, you can stream it from YouTube. It shows the whole trial live. Um, what's your thoughts on that? Do you think? What do you think? What do you think the verdict is going to be? I've been watching it. I told you, I know about these murder trials. I done said in a lot of them. I feel like the outcome, not guilty. Want me to tell you why? His opening arguments from his lawyer convinced me, like it made me look at it totally different. Because his lawyer saying, if Bortland drove them to the hospital, why didn't y'all perform a search warrant on his house or treat him how y'all treated Melly? Y'all let him lie to y'all three times and sent them home. So basically not saying Portland did it, but what I'm saying is they locked in on Melly being a superstar. They was trying to get their moment. Like the detective was trying to get his moment. He was more so trying to get his moment than putting it together. I feel like they seen how big Melly was. You see this trial live on YouTube. It's the biggest, the, 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 once his lawyer displayed that the detective was in that type of, that type of, that's how he was playing the case. It made sense. Like Melly, like think about it. You got YNW Melly in the car. This can be the biggest story ever. Win, lose, or draw. Publicity. So now that I heard the opening arguments from the lawyer, I kind of, I kind of like it. But this is the thing about the murders. You got to prove him without reasonable doubt. I promise you it's reasonable doubt. It's, I'm not even a lawyer, but it's reasonable doubt in this case forever. Because no, we wasn't in that car. We don't know nothing. Like, we wasn't there. I seen him say... The prosecutor said something like, Instagram, on Instagram, somebody, after the shooting happened on Instagram, somebody wrote him and said, is you, you all right? Yeah. She is from 
bell is somewhere. She don't know. After something tragic with you and your friends and it hit the streets before it hit the internet, everybody's going to call and check on you and make sure you okay. These are your closest friends. That's just what happened in the black community to let her know. Mm. So her trying to prove that was made him guilty. It's all over the place. They fishing. Then he, they say, Fredo Bang picked him up. Afterwards, so it's a witch hunt. It's all over the place now. Now I'm like, oh, nah, free Melly, man. Free Melly. It's all over the place. But it's like, okay, he said I did that shit, right? But it, it had no context. Like, it really, he really didn't say what he did. He just said, I did that shit. He did what? Exactly. Still, no, I agree. I oh, agree. It's still reasonable doubt. He did what? Okay, he did it. What did he say he did? Now you got to think about what he did and put something in. That's reasonable doubt. I don't like it. Free Melly. I'm saying Melly at eight, man. Melly at eight. Yeah. <laughs> And at this point, it's like, okay, it's not about if he did or didn't do it. Can they prove if he did it? I kind of got my own opinion about if he did or didn't do it, but it's just so weird. Like, there was no glass anywhere. Like, um, I, I can't really say too much without saying what I really want to say, but somebody in that somebody in that car had to do it, basically. Not true. Let me tell you why. Just allegedly. Say if they did get shot at and Melly fired back to defend himself, he ain't about to tell you he fired a fucking gun in that car or something, something, something. That might get him convicted. He ain't about to tell you shit. Put it together yourself. What if Boylan did it? You don't know. It's too much reasonable doubt in it. What if Boylan did it? He gonna snitch on Boylan? But he was driving. Boylan's driving, but they were hit from the back of the head. You can't drive. You gonna have to reach way around their head to hit them in the back of the head if you in front of them. Was you in that car? No. When you 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 ever heard this? Bullets ain't got no name on them. You don't know which way them jumps go when they come out. Mm. You don't know what them bullets did. We wasn't there to see what them bullets did. Two headshots, drive by. You, so you telling me two headshots in the drive by? Nobody else got hit. It's possible. You tell it in time out. You telling me it's physically impossible? No, it's possible. That's reasonable doubt. Damn. <laughs> Free Melly. <laughs> I should have been his lawyer. He'd have been out. <laughs> Free that man. Yeah, it, it ain't about if he did or didn't do it, man. It's, it's about not can they prove it. It's not the did or did. It's, it's, it's reasonable doubt. And this is another thing. You can't build a motor from out the air. They building a motor from out the air. They don't even yeah. have a solid motive. What's their motive? We don't know why he did it. They making up assumptions, money. This. We don't know. Reasonable doubt. It's too much reasonable doubt. Yeah, they got ballistics. They got they got investigators, professionals, but you know Melly and them got professionals too that's going to critique their professionals. Like, I promise you. It's just And they didn't good. find the gun. Huh? They didn't find the gun. Yeah, right? what gun? And it's another thing. I told you the opening arguments had me convinced. How is Bortland house not getting raided, subpoena, checking clothes? They didn't check in for gun residue. They did enough, and the case was over from the beginning. It's another person there. You can't tell me what this other person did, but you can tell me what this person did. Make it make sense to me. All right. You can prove all this about Melly. So what did tell me everything he did? They can't tell you everything he did, so there's no way they can tell you everything he did. It's just sound good in the prosecutor. The prosecutor fishing. I seen her open up some bag of clothes and show the bag of clothes. They bring that guy draws to court. They don't know what they doing, bro. It's a witch hunt. I swear to God, I never seen nobody get murdered and they bring your draws to court. I never seen it. <laughs> they realized I had his draws in court. I'm like, what the hell? Like, that's crazy. It don't make sense. They all over the place. They gone off the excitement of who he was. It made sense. I never thought of it like that. But once they see, once the detective zoomed in on Melly and realized who he was and who they had, bro, they were so focused on him and proving he was guilty, they didn't even investigate a case. They only investigated Melly. It was nothing yeah. else. Was like, no other suspects, no nothing. They were Too never really looking for no other doubt. guys. Nah, that's real. That, that's real. Damn. Free Melly. Free that man. Um, Before we get out of here, why Finn Lucci? He uh, didn't accept the plea deal. 20-year plea deal. Smart or dumb? Rico charge, too. This ain't no regular shit. This is Rico. This is Rico charge. It's a state or a fair case. I think it's state. State and fair case is different, but what's it, what's it called? It? 20 years? 
20 years. I don't know what they got on them. Like, what they got on them? Let me see. Wife and Luchi State. If he loses, he facing life? Yeah, if he loses, it's going to be way crazier than uh than um than 20 years. I don't really know. I can't I can't I don't really know too much about it. But if I was him, they say him. Yeah, I don't know. I I, I don't know. I don't even know. How can I don't even know? I don't know a situation. So yeah, back on wife and Lucci. Um, he was charged with racketeering, violating the state's anti-gang law, felony charge, well, felony murder, aggravated assault, possession of a firearm. And um, yeah, the plea deal was recommended a 20 year sentence with 17 in prison in exchange for, yeah, so 17 years in prison. 17 with a murder on it and a Rico. Me? Ah, I'm diving. I see you in 17, man. I ain't even about to play. Like, I'm, I'm diving. That's like my homeboy. I got a partner. His name Ronnie Mo. This is my, this was my, this is my best friend back in the day when we was kids. He got, he got caught, allegedly, he got caught up on like, they, they had him on a murder, basically a murder charge. They offered him, twi they offered, they offered him a 12 year plea deal. He turned it down. You know how much time he got? 30. He got life plus 20. <laughs> and they were trying to give him 12 years. Like, and the set crazy part is, he probably had like two, three left right now. Mm. But he's trying to get back on the pill. Because if they offer you 12 years, how can they rig how, how that don't even how they can they take it that far? But he lost the trial. They gave him life plus 20. When's the last time you talked to him? I probably ain't talked to him since he's been in jail. Cause like I told you my friends since we was kids. Like we society separated us. Like we don't talk on every day basis. So when he went to jail, but he reached out to talk to me. But like, what can I say? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't even know. I gotta I had to get my life together and turn to who I, I'm together now, but I'm a he ain't going away. <laughs> I reach out to him. I gotta get back to him. But we had we ain't gonna say we fell out, but we stopped hanging with each other. We used to be young, so probably I was separated from him say about five years. We wasn't on the ever. I probably talked to him when I see him. I probably see him three times a year in five years, you know what I'm saying? Just when we was close to when we was homeboys when we was younger. Yeah. But I ain't I ain't talked to him. I probably talked to him like when he first went to jail, like the first beginning. But he like he years in now. I ain't talked to him in years. Are you still a street cat? Who, me? Yeah. Like in the streets? Yeah. Hell no, nah, I ain't in the streets at all. If I can tell y'all young as something, man, the streets ain't gonna do nothing but kill you faster than you wanna live. I ain't in the streets, but the street I told you my story, but I told you, I gave you my brother's life story, but all my friends did. Every win I ever thought I got away with in the streets, I paid for it. It's like I never really got away with it. The streets irritate me, bro. It's like I was dead so long I could have been rich. It's like it's a distraction. Nobody in it. I got the most from the block anyway, so it don't mean nothing. I ain't gotta be. Well, what's your view? What's your view on the streets now? Like, do you think the streets are lame? Do you understand why people they go to the streets? Um, like, what's your view on being a street cat now? Ain't no more streets. They they think they in the streets, but they be on, bro. Go watch. They watch time on their phone. Them niggas that's outside on the phone, just the same as my time as me. Like they in the streets because they don't pay no bills, bro. Niggas ain't in the streets because they hustling no more. Like going to get the food for their baby mother and buy their mother a house. They hustling because they have nowhere to go. You can't sit in nobody else's house for twenty four hours. You got at least get like eight in there. Somebody let you chill for eight. Go outside. Like they want their privacy. The streets yeah. washed up. The streets over with, bro. Yeah, you said that um you said that you'll go to church with your aunt with the Bible before you go back to the block. Yeah, I said I go I I will go to church on Sunday with Miss Maple and them and buy them sausage biscuits from uh from McDonald's and get them free peppermints. Like get them a bag, go to the dollar store, get a bag of peppermints, sausage biscuits for Miss Maple and them on the morning, little orange juices, and I'll be there every Sunday before I go outside and hold down a block. I would never do it. I have my grandmother at church right now, and I take a Bible and wear a suit if I have to. I promise you, I would never go to a hood again. The hood is over. I watched. That's major. Cousin. That's major coming from somebody like you. 
Yeah, you gotta go through what I went through too, Sean. They the streets ain't play with me. Like they they ain't it was like get out now or you gonna die next. It was one of them. Like the streets talked to me, bro. Like get out right now or you gonna die next. I had to leave. Like I had no other choice. The guys who I was getting into it with, I don't even know them. And they started telling the police that I killed somebody. And it's like, so now the police in my business, I can't retaliate. So it's like my friends died, but it's like I understand I had to talk with God and I said, whatever I lost in the streets. I just accept it. I just accept everything. Like the dead people that died, the people that got whatever way it went. I just accept it all. I'm out. I'm done. It's like my heart can't take no more. I don't really have a heart, bro. I lost it. It's in pieces. If you can put it back together, they can have it. It's like I lost everything to the streets, bro. Like everything. I realized hell, my best friend, my closest friend in the world, he bleeding from the mouth telling me about to die. He really died. Hmm. When my brother got shot 32 times, when he got shot outside in Christmas, as he getting shot, I can hear my mother in the living room. All right, I'm gonna tell you how I went. I was walking, I was walking in the kitchen, and my I seen my brother and his baby mother on the couch and the baby. I walked in the room as I was in my room. It probably was like five minutes. I didn't even know my brother could go outside that fast. My, my brother had ran to the truck to get some earrings because it was Christmas. He bought his girl some earrings. He left him in the car. He bought his baby mother. So as he going to get it, the guy's already out there sitting in the car. Long story short, I hear the gunshots going off. Boom, 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 boom. But I'm thinking my brother is out there shooting at somebody. I'm not thinking my brother's out there getting shot up. I look out the window, I see my brother's truck. I see a car beside his truck, filling his truck up. He stopped and hit the pole at the stop sign. So as he, I see it all through the window, but now when I see it's my brother's truck, the blue truck, he's still rolling. I runs outside in the middle of the shot, Sean. I'm outside, the shot's still going off. The car had rolled past, they thought they killed him. My brother, and I'm the first one in the car, it's my brother shot up. My mother and them ain't run downstairs yet because they can't, they still upstairs panicking, but I'm straight outside. So I'm outside, I'm in the car, I'm holding my brother. I'm, my brother got shot 32 times. I'm holding my brother. I'm looking at his eyes. He bleeding from the neck. He can't breathe. It's some white guy outside early in the morning. And the white guy just hopped in the van, took my brother's shirt off, squeezed his neck. Some my brother spit up blood, started back talking. The white guy got out of the car and walked off. I never seen that guy get in my life. That's the guy who said, Nah. Like, wow. He was never in the police report. He was never nothing. All right. So some white guy hopped in the joint and put a shirt around my brother's neck. He started back breathing. So now I can talk to him a little bit. But I'm stuck in the I'm stuck in the twilight. I'm stuck in the twilight of him being shot. I'm still in the moment. Like in this moment, I'm adrenaline rushing. I don't really know what's going on. I'm just in the moment. So I'm talking to my brother the whole time, but the police see the truck and they see me in the truck and they know it got shot. So they taping up the truck around. They think my brother already here dead. They didn't even call the police. Like, and the police ask me, that's your brother in there? They be like, that's your that's, that's your brother, that's your brother in there. I'm like, yeah, call the ambulance. They ain't call no ambulance for him or nothing, bro. The ambulance came like 30 minutes later. It felt like 30 minutes. It might, I don't know how long it was, but it felt like 30 minutes, like it took forever. My mother had to realize, go move the tape and fan the ambulance in. They was trying to keep it in like they wanted them to die, bro. They knew who it was in the car. So my purpose of telling you this is, so my brother, I yeah, shot 32 times, he bleed from the neck, he bleeding out. He keeps saying, I'm about to die. But I'm talking to him the whole time. I realized, damn, I was talking to him. I didn't realize this till we in the hospital, that damn, I literally talked to him the whole time until he got into the hospital. Like that whole 30 minutes from him being shot up and him getting in the ambulance, we was having a conversation. So then right. I thought about that and made me feel better. But I knew he was dead, though. I was 100% sure he was dead. Nobody's surviving that shit, Sean. I was already in my head that he was dead. But my purpose of telling you this story, my purpose of telling you this story is this is the reason I got out of the streets. My brother got shot 32 times. I was the first person there, and I watched him bleed. This is the person I love the most in the world, bro. He bleeding from it. I, that, that traumatized traumatized me. I never wanted to see that again. A couple years later, I held my best friend the same way, the same exact way. He said he going to die. He got shot one time, and he died. He got shot one time. And he died. I was in that same position again. I said, I got to get the hell out the streets, bro. Like, I'm a regular person, bro. I can't take this, bro. I can't, bro. I will mentally go psychotic behind this. Yeah. And it's like my friends die. My brother doing what he doing in the street. It's so much pressure from everything, bro. I'm about to explode. I had to leave it alone. It ain't worth it, bro. I scraped, just prayed, went in the house, prayed. And a couple months later, I turned into this. Do you feel like D.C. is just as bad as Chicago? Of course, DC, DC, 10 times, I was just say 20 times smaller than Chicago. I think we like number nine murder capital. They probably like in the top, we're in the top nine and we 10 times smaller than them. So just imagine if this was Chicago, we probably be 10 Chicago's. I mean, you were on IG Live with Cairo and Bandman and, and you know, I didn't want it to turn into a DC versus Chicago thing, but it's like DC people, I noticed y'all want the world to know how crazy it is there. It's like y'all feel like y'all don't get the respect. Like like people think y'all sweet kind of like. Yeah, they think it's sweet till they come here. 
Like Chicago, I, I, I'm a, I can't really say too much, but some Chicago guys came here and got into it with, with some Glizzy members back in the day. They never came back. <laughs> it's, in, it's in the history books. Chief Keaton probably got shot at here three times. He never came back. But I ain't glorifying it, but I'm saying like, so when they speak to Chicago, yeah, in Chicago, they can do that to in Chicago. It might be, un they might can do what they can do to me in Chicago, but like in DC, Chief Keith been shot at three times and he never came back. They shot his tool bus up and all that. Some guy named Uncle Buckets. Yeah. But, and I feel like, yeah, they go hard. They get the documentaries because the rap scene boosted even more. We don't got that for real. But you think because the president lay here, that don't mean nothing. I've never seen the president. I've never been to the White House. We don't even go to that parts. It get unchy everywhere. I'm not knocking that. So for a guy from Chicago to say I'm bought, that'll start a war. That's what'll start a war. Not me. What I'm saying, he's saying I'm bought. So by one Chicago guy bond me, don't I just supposed to just treat all the rest of them the same? Or do I be friends with somebody and leave my back door open? So do I be friends with Cairo while I never got from Chicago named Big Folk bar me? It's like it's opening up my back door. I'm from the streets, bro. It's like if one say it, y'all all with it. We don't want I don't no think, trouble. I, I don't really think you're being, man. I, I think it's, uh, I just think it's entertainment. Bruh, I think. I don't, listen, y'all can ban me from Chicago. I'm not going there anyway, bro. Michael Jordan does not play for the Bulls and D-Rose been gone. I, it's nothing in Chicago for me. Nothing. I told him though, like I ain't beef with Chicago. Like if y'all want to start a beef, just let me beef with 63rd. All Lil Dirk gotta do is give me a chain, a OTF jacket, and let me hang with Duty Low. I spin the shit out 63rd. It'll hit different when I jump out that motherfucker. Do your homework. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Maynard had endless stories. Do your homework. It'll hit different if I was jumping out that track off. <laughs> oh, do, do you honestly feel like people want to kill you though in DC? Because it's, it's all these you hiding and you know I just hear so many people when when you get into it with people people say you're hiding in DC. It's internet trolling. I just was at a fight with the whole city, Sean. Who the hell looking for me? <laughs> it's internet trolling. It's like that's the popular opinion, I guess. You don't see niggas with money. Name a, name a nigga with money who sit in the hood all day. He ain't really got no money. You don't see it. You don't see niggas like this just standing in the hood, man. I ain't standing in the hood with them guys. I'm good. Like. They can say I'm hiding. I ain't hiding. The money bring me out. I told you, you got to book me. I was getting into it with Davey. I told him book me. I, I was there every time, the way in or whatever. Like That's the popular opinion. And I told you, bro, the Illuminati home, bro. I ain't really tripping off nobody out here, bro. No guys or nothing. <laughs> I'm the one they should be scared of if you ask me, but <laughs> I'm going to downplay it. Last thing, QCP. Uh... He told on somebody who killed a family member. What's your thoughts on that? Little baby, you got 24 hours to respond. <laughs> on my mother, I love little baby. You feel me? That's my man. I'm telling you, like, if little baby showed me, I had to hold the door for Jada Wader to walk through and nobody touch. I'd be walking around like, don't touch little baby girl. Like, on my mother, don't touch her. Don't touch her. Hey, so baby, on the strip of me, find your way to get up out that contract. Cause, bro, Gunner came home here with a low blow. I say, man, ho, ho, ho. He said, man, you in business with a rat? I say, damn, I ain't got no business. Listen to this shit, but like, baby, you got 24 hours to respond. You better do it for all us. I'm telling you. We ain't letting them live with that one. What are you talking about? Then QCP talking about he been here. So it... I will never sign to QC or my mother. Do you think that hurt QC's brand? The brand, that's why they sold it. Q, he must have knew that paperwork was about to hit. Man, I swear it was perfect timing, wasn't it? That shit was sold the week before his paperwork came out. He already knew it was coming. I'm telling you, 1090 Jake called him and said, bro, you got seven days to sell it all. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we about to get out of here. You Okay, let's say you got Bandman, Kevo, Charleston White, FYB, J-Man, and Cairo. If you had to fight one of the four, who would it be? I say Cairo, because Cairo got his jaw broke already at McDonald's, and I know he's a sucker. So, like, I seen his footage. Like, I seen him get hit with the boop, bop, bop. And that's another thing before we go. It's like, how are you famous for getting your jaw broken? And McDonald's, like, ain't this ba da ba 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 I'm loving it. Like, they love to see you smile. You can buy a Happy Meal in there. You the first guy that ever got your jaw broken where you can buy a Happy Meal. I'm telling you, man. I want to fight him. Give me Cairo. <laughs> I think, uh... I mean, you said if that would have happened to you, you would have killed somebody. Oh, my mother. Hey, I'm, I told you. I got a new word, y'all. 
I'm unchiroable. If you don't know what that is, you, nobody can do to me what they did to Cairo. I am unchiroable. The language and origin piece, I'm going to use it in a sentence. I am unchiroable. You cannot do to me what happened to Cairo. I would never, bro. I think anybody that's in the field took an L before. Yeah, nigga took L. Sean, I ain't never been smacked a day in my life. I never been beat up a day in my life. I never been robbed a day in my life. I told you, I know the Illuminatis. <laughs> it hit different. Do your homework, though, Sean. It do hit different when you live in the house with John Wick and John Lee Malvo at the same time. It hit different. And Glizzy, man, until next time, man. Baba son. Oh, no, look, though. Hold on. Send them to my YouTube channel, Baba son TV. Everybody go follow me on YouTube. Everybody go subscribe, man. YouTube.